All right, welcome back. On this video, we're going to be talking about how you can clear up that horrible blurriness you get from Fallout 4's TAA filtering. It's pretty good anti-aliasing, except for that whole blurriness. I made a video about this a while ago, but apparently the method no longer works because the program was updated to no longer do the settings through Windows, but instead through the actual game with an overlay. I've had a few people request this, and on top of that, I ran into a few problems setting this one up where I thought I would share it with you, even though there's other videos out there that have pretty much covered this, but the thing about it is I didn't see them run into the same issue that I had, so I just wanted to share that with you, and I found it worth making and updating my previous one. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. In the description, you'll be able to find the relevant link to be able to download Reshade. This one is version 3.07. However, unless there's any major changes again, it should work pretty much identical to this one. Once you already have it downloaded and opened up, you should be seeing this menu right over here. From there, we're going to select the game. And what you want to do is select your executable. And just in case you don't know where to find the folder, there are people who are coming from consoles or just aren't as savvy when it comes to computers, even though it's really basic information, but still just to help out anyone out there and not leave anyone behind. If you downloaded it through Steam, it's quite simple. Just double click that, go to your library, right click on Fallout 4, then properties, and then go to local files and then browse local files. And then that will take you to your root directory after that. You can just click the address bar, control C to copy that, close all of this other stuff down. And then on this prompt where it asks you to open to locate the executable on the address bar on the top, just control V and there you go. It brings you right to where you need to go. Click on Fallout 4, not the launcher. And then from there, select Direct3D 10 plus API because that's what Fallout 4 uses. Now afterwards, it's going to ask you to download a collection of effects. And you need those in order to be able to get to Luma Sharpen. You could download whichever one you want or select the ones that you want. However, I recommend that you take them all because it really isn't going to affect your game much. And on top of that, it also gives you the ability to alter the game's looks in various ways to make it look a whole lot better. And then once you hit OK, that's it. It's already set up and ready to go for the most part. There is one other thing that you might have to do. As for me, this is the issue that I ran into, which I'll show you here so that way you could see the problem that I had. And so that was the problem that I had. It would just drop me back to Windows after giving me a black screen, maybe a little overlay on the top, and that was about it. I looked around for a little while and I found that the issue was just renaming one of the DLLs. That was about it. It's actually an easy fix. You just click this right over here where it says DX. GI. Now that was installed by Reshade after everything we just did. It's in the root directory of Fallout 4. So you go in there and you just change that to D3D11. Hit enter and that's it. It should work from here on out. Let's go ahead and give that a shot just to see. And there we go. It worked. All right, so before we start fiddling with any of the settings, let's go ahead and just load up a game. So that way you could see the difference. If you haven't started a game already, then you might want to start a game and then jump into it and then follow the rest of the instructions. Or you could just implement them and see how they turn out later and adjust them. Okay, so now once you're in the game, hit Shift plus F2, and that's going to bring up the home screen. That home screen is going to have a little tutorial for you to follow, but essentially you can just follow the things that I'm doing on here. Click continue, and then from there click on the plus symbol, and then now you want to name your profile whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to type in light pillar. And this top block here that's red, that one's just indicating that that's where your special effects are, where you can enable and disable them. And on the bottom, is where the variables for whatever effect you want to change. So if you want to change Luma Sharpen or HDR settings, you just click it down there and you can make your adjustments. And there you finish. But you might notice I ran into the second problem here. You'll see that there's no special effects even though we've already downloaded them. Well, you have to go into settings and from there on your texture path, on your texture search paths, you want to add a slash 
reshade dash shaders with an S and then texture. That folder was made by reshade when we installed it earlier. It's inside of your Fallout 4 directory. And so then we're going to do the same thing with effects, but instead of putting texture at the end, we're going to put shaders. So reshade dash shaders slash shaders. Okay, now we go over to home. And from there, we click reload. And now all the effects that we downloaded earlier are going to start to populate this list. Okay, first things first, click on collapse all. And from there, we're mostly on, especially for this video, we're focusing on fixing the sharpness. So that way things don't look so blurry when you're walking. So click on Luma Sharpen, activate that. You can already see the difference here. You might want to adjust it for your display. Obviously, your display is going to look different than mine. Settings are going to be different as well. And so it may look more sharper for you. Whereas on the other hand, for me, it might look a little more dull. So you have to play around with it and see what you prefer. In order to make those variable adjustments, you can't do that up here. You'll have to scroll down on the bottom to Luma Sharpen. And from there, you see where it says the sharp strength, double click that and you can just type in the number. Alternatively, you could also grab it and slide right or left. The highest you can go is 3.0. For my display currently, I use 2.5. And well, pretty much you're ready to go from there. You could just hit shift F2 to take a look at it and see how it performs. If you move forward and backwards, you could see whether or not it's, it's blurry or if it's clear enough for you. Once you find your proper settings, you're going to want to go over to settings and then go into configuration mode where it says the usage mode over here and then put that into performance mode. What that essentially does is it disables your ability to make any changes to any of the settings on there, but it prevents it from taking longer to load the game every single time you're going to do that. And also it won't remove extra performance from your system or from your game. Right now, I'm still going to adjust a few more things. That's pretty much it for this video. If you want to end it there, then that's fantastic. But there are a few other adjustments that I recommend that you do that could really make the game look a whole lot better. And it's just minor tweaks that are very nice. If you go up to where it says HDR, now this doesn't give you real HDR. It's, it's a bit of a fake HDR, but it, it really simulates the effect pretty well. It costs about three to four frames per second. So if that's a problem for you, you know in advance, but that's not really a high price to pay for the difference that you get. You click on it here, you notice that the colors become a little bit more punchy. The darks are more dark, but yet not crushed. And the grayness, there's like a gray filter that covers the entire screen. That kind of goes away, it becomes so much nicer. The sky looks more bluish. I just prefer it all around. The image looks much better. And if you want to make some adjustments to that, again, go to the bottom, click on HDR. If I can even find it, it's right in front of my face. And you could adjust it here. You can hit 1.1, 1.2. You could even go more granular than that, like 1.255 if you wanted to and stuff like that. But I personally find that 1.3 is pretty good because if you start going up above that, it gets a little darker. But again, it's all based around your screen, your settings and stuff like that. So play with it a little bit and see if you like that setting. After that, personally me, I just like a little bit more color to my game. Of course, you can make it look more realistic and less colorful, you know, more like an apocalyptic world if you want to. But if you prefer a little bit more color, especially if you're running with trees like the way I am currently, then you can come over to colorfulness. Click on that and activate it. Now you can see that the colors are more rich and they come out more. And so it, it just feels more pleasant to the eye, I feel. However, it may be a little bit too strong. So you come down to the bottom over here and you scroll up to colorfulness. And you could adjust it from the 0.4 that it's at currently. And you could do something like point one or point two or point three or point four where it's at you can even go higher than that if you want to but bear in mind 
it's going to become very saturated at that point so you might want to refrain from going too high unless of course you prefer that you know personal preference is personal preference personally me i like to go with let's try out point two for now And those are pretty much the settings that I use. You could change more. You, there's some funky things you can do in here. Like, for instance, you can go into CRT and they give the game this kind of look, which is pretty crazy if you ask me. But I could see that working with certain mods, maybe. I don't know. That's, that is pretty cool, though. That's pretty unique, you got to admit. You can make adjustments to that, of course, down over here. You could put the resolution so it's not so blurry or so pixelated. And of course, there's other things you can make changes on. For instance, if you want to change the ambient lights, you could do it like this. That way it's a little bit more, you know, more atmospheric, maybe a little bit more spooky. So there's a lot of stuff you could do there and you can play with it. Pretty much these are the settings that I want. So I'm going to go over to settings and from there I'm going to click on performance mode. And you're going to notice that the effects, it's going to cycle through them, locking them in place. And once you do that, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. You can go into the game and start playing. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps your game to look much better and for you to maybe discover all sorts of new effects that make your game look even more interesting. All right, with that said, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you around.